Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will be discussing about the break, continue and pass keywords in Python. So we will be seeing when, where and how we use these keywords in our program. So let us start. Now let us consider a for loop to print numbers from 0 to 10. So I can write for i in range 10 print i. And if I execute this, I get the numbers from 0 to 9. Now suppose I need to terminate this loop as soon as i becomes equal to 5. So for this, I can use the keyword break. So the break statement in Python terminates the loop containing it. So now if I take the same loop and I write an if condition inside this loop and I write if i equal to equal to 5 colon and I write break. So this states that as soon as the value of i becomes equal to 5, the statements inside the if condition will get executed that is the break keyword will get executed and hence the loop should get terminated. So let us verify this by executing this code. Now if I see, I get the output only from 0 to 4. Why? Because when i became equal to 5, the break keyword was executed and the loop got terminated. So this is how we use break in Python. So as per the definition, break statement will terminate the for loop containing it when the condition becomes true. Now suppose in this for loop which is printing the values from 0 to 9, I want to skip printing the number 5. For this what I can do is, I can take help of the continue statement. So the continue statement is used to skip the remaining code inside a for loop for the current iteration only. Now if I take the previous example itself and instead of break if I write continue. So what the loop will do is the for loop will iterate over the range 10 that is from 0 to 9. But as soon as the value of i will become equal to 5 the continue statement will get executed and this continue statement will terminate the current iteration of the loop that is it will skip the remaining statements in the current iteration and will move to the next iteration of the loop. So now if we execute this loop, here we go. I got numbers from 0 to 9 and as we can see the number 5 was missing from here. After 4 we have 6. So this is how the continue statement works. Therefore as we saw the continue statement works opposite to the break statement. That is instead of terminating the loop it forces the execution of next iteration of the loop. I hope that was clear. Now let us see where we use the pass statement in Python. So as the name suggests, pass statement does nothing. That is, the pass statement is used as a placeholder for future code. Suppose, if I take this code itself and instead of continue, I write pass. So what this keyword will do is that it will do nothing. It will just be a placeholder for the code that we might add in future. So now if we execute this, I get the output from 0 to 9 and all the values are present. That is there was no effect of this pass keyword on the execution of this code. So this is how the pass keyword works. Now if you talk about the difference between break, continue and pass statement, as we saw the break statement terminates the entire execution of the loop as soon as the break statement is encountered. Whereas the continue statement as we saw terminates only the current iteration of the loop where the continue statement was encountered. That is the continue forces the loop to start at the next iteration. Whereas the pass means that there is no code to execute there. That is it does nothing and will continue to the remainder of the loop body. So that was all about break, continue and pass statements in Python. In case of any doubt, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.